And then I want you to follow all the way across. Keep looking past the boats. Keep going all the way around to there. That's a big lake, isn't it? Really big. Raise your hand if you see a mountain across the way. Yes. Raise your hand if you see big rocks on that mountain. Do you know what we're going to do together, boys and girls? Yeah. We are going to climb a mountain. Yes. And we are going to climb all the way to a little cave. And I've got some little flashlights, and you're going to get to peek in the cave. I wish we can we go in. They were like headphones. Oh, a headlamp would be cool, but the flashlight is fun. So that is what we were going to be up to. And on our hike, on our way up the mountain, we are going to be nature detectives. Do you remember doing where we look carefully for different things that we see in nature. So we're going to be looking for cool stuff. I did see and some magnifying glasses where that moon. Oh, wow. You know, we're just going to use our regular eyes and we'll be able to see a lot. And we're going to use our regular ears. Let's listen for a second. 
bug or animal is. I hear a bird. A bird singing. There's lots of birds singing. That's great. So we'll keep our eyes out for lots of special things. Our, the first part of our hike um, is through a sunny field, but then we'll be in the shade for the rest of the time. So just to you over here. <laughs> All right, I'd like you to find your grown-ups so that we can kind of walk with kids and grown-ups together. trail when we're climbing up the mountain where we're going to walk on steps that are made of the rock. We're actually going to climb on rock steps. That's how strong that rock is, which is really cool. All right, let's keep looking around. Everybody look this way. Everybody look this way. Everybody look up. Whoa. I can't see. I see even a bird up there. Raise your hand if you see so many green leaves. So many. Good. A hundred. Are all the leaves the same shape or are there some different ones? Different ones. Yeah, look. This one right up here has some points to its shape. And that one is, it has, that one is more ovalish. Yes, this tree right here is more like an oval. So there's a bunch of different colors kinds of trees in the forest. Okay, raise your hand if you notice some of the low down plants that grow along the ground. Okay, we've got a lot of different ones of those. And some of them will have flowers on them as you hike, you'll, you'll notice that. Okay. There, you saw your flower already? There are some insects that live in the forest. And the last thing we're gonna look for Oh, close. The last thing we're going to look for, I'm going to act out. Watch this. Ready? Watch me. Squirrel. Squirrel. I'm glad somebody guessed it before I had to go on and on with that. Yes, squirrels. Now, raise your hand if you see a squirrel right now. I don't. I don't see a squirrel right now. But squirrels leave clues behind. So as we go on the trail, we're going to look for a clue that a squirrel has left behind that he's been there. Are you ready? Are you going to be watching carefully? Okay, let's look for the clue. Adults, you can step back in here and we'll gather up again a few more times. You ready? Okay. a big root. All right, kindergartners, if you are behind, you can stand up. Just keep your hands off the rock. There's room for more people, just more kids to stand over here. Stand right there. <laughs> yep, come stand right here. We found some clues, boys and girls. All kindergartners, come up so you can see this rock. Stand up if you're in the back. Okay, boys and girls, remember I talked about an animal that lives in this forest? Squirrel. Uh, that likes to eat nuts. Well, squirrels, when they eat their nuts, they'll find whole ones like this on the forest floor. 
and then they'll grab it in their little paws and they'll run and find a little good spot. And squirrels like to eat their breakfast on top of rocks or logs. Did you know that? No. So that's the kind of spot they like. And so they'll go up on there and they'll, with their little paws and their teeth, they'll try to crack open that nut. And then they eat the nut that's inside of here. But do you think they eat the shell of the nut? No! No, it's too hard and yucky. So they leave the shell behind. I call this the squirrel's dirty dishes. He ate up the nut and then he left the shell behind and did he clear a spot at the table? No, no. no, he didn't. He left behind his dirty dishes. So if you see... Like the squirrels in there. They could, yeah. This is a perfect kind of home for squirrels. So if you see little Sorry. shells like this left behind on a rock, you, you know that it's the squirrel's dirty dishes. He was eating his breakfast here. All right, let's put it back up on there so the next kids can see it too. And then as we walk, we'll keep an eye out for squirrels. Okay. All right, let's get to when I was there. Yeah. Yeah. You guys are doing great. Good job, bud. Keep going. You can keep going. I'll catch up with you. Go ahead. I'll catch up with you. What? I found some leather. It says it works. Okay, boys and girls, if you can see my face, then you are in a good spot. If you cannot see my face, then just move your body a little bit. Let me see. I found some nuts over here. Okay. My shell. I know. Wait. Ow. Okay, if you can hear my voice, clap your hands one time. Good job, boys and girls. We stopped at this log because it's actually a very important part of nature. Um, is this an alive tree? No. No. But did it used to be an alive tree? Yes. Yeah. Yes, this tree used to be standing up just like all these big tall trees. But trees don't live forever, so sometimes they get sick. Uh, or they get old, and when they die, they fall down and they become these logs. But the log is still important. So raise your hand if you can think of one reason that a log down on the forest floor is important. What do you think? Because these other animals live in there. Yes, this makes a home for a lot of different creatures. So in right here, I found the shell of a millipede that had been living in this heart. So stay where you are and I'll, I'll bring it around. This is just part of it. It was actually quite long. It's not alive anymore, but it had been living in this log. I think the lack of rain has been really there, there's hard. A, a lot of there's two more parts in there. You. I have lots of legs. There's two more parts in there. There's two more parts. There's two more parts. Yeah, so, so a log like this will be a home to a lot of different little critters. But here's the other reason that it's important. If you can hear my voice talking. The other reason that these logs that fell down are important is that when the log is down on the ground, it's changing into something different. It's changing into dirt. Dirt. That's right. When a tree dies, and the logs are on the ground, they're slowly changing to make more dirt. And that dirt is gonna help new plants Jack, grow. So oh, it's like a cycle. Just brush it off, brush it off. It's okay, that's fine. Oh, is it a oh, daddy oh, long legs? Excuse me. I, I found the root over here.
to each of you guys, and if you want to take a look at it, you can, okay? He's got nice long legs. Yeah, but they just have one body part instead of two. The spiders have two. See, there he is. Do you see how long his legs are? It feels like it's fall right now. Yeah. Are you going to go see this um, I saw Daddy Long Legs a lot. Yes. You know, now saw, you get a close-up view of it. Did you know I saw a spider? He was like, yeah, that's a baby. He was like, Daddy. Did you get it on me? Oh, you're not having it, huh? Oh, you saw stop. the eyes? Yeah, he okay. just has two eyes. Go pet it. He's trying to escape, but I'm holding his leg. That's why he no, can't No, you don't have to. Oh, okay. you. He's cute. He'll grow out of it. Yeah, and when, when we're ready, we'll let him go, right? I wouldn't hurt him. Teddy. All right, raise your hand if you did not see the daddy long legs yet.